My next update has to do with Poland. And in particularly on the 22nd of September, a huge march of 15,000 workers through downtown Warsaw, Poland. I wouldn't bring this up if it were just another strike. But Poland has played an interesting role in modern history. It's often been a weather vane for changes that then would spread and show up in many other countries. So maybe what I'm about to describe is the beginning of something. The demonstration in Warsaw was not just about better wages, better working conditions. The demand there was very specific. Here is what it was. Poland, the demonstrators said, has been showing good economic growth. But the benefits of that growth have gone to the richest 10% of the Polish people, leaving everybody out. And the argument of the workers was, we all help to produce this rising wealth. Why are we excluded from distributing its benefits? In other words, the union was mobilizing its people, not just for the members of the union, not just for the immediate benefit of the union and the workers there, but for the vast majority of the people. The union was becoming what it had once been, the leading force demanding and pointing the way to fundamental social change. It's a whole new world if the justice, the notion of social and economic justice says that the mass of people want to be involved in deciding how wealth that has been created by everybody is distributed. In capitalist systems, that decision is left to the capitalists, a tiny minority. They decide what to do with the profits, who to give them to, what to use them for. What those Polish workers were saying was, no, 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 no. We help to produce the profits. We get a say in distributing them. 